Good Wednesday afternoon, Western Montana. I'm AJ Mazzolini, and this is the 406, the Missoulians' weekday webcast. Here are the top headlines at this hour. Montana Senator John Walsh canceled several campaign appearances and remained in Helena today as he pondered whether to stay in the U.S. Senate race. Calls for Walsh to drop out of the race have steadily increased following revelations that he plagiarized a master's degree paper. Walsh is meeting with advisors and family members about the future of his campaign against Republican U.S. Representative Steve Daines and Libertarian Roger Roots. Watch Missoulian.com for the latest updates on this emerging story. A 55-year-old Ronan woman who has been reported missing was found Wednesday morning. Authorities are still investigating, but Linda Santos Altamirano is safe and well. She was reported missing after not reporting for work on Monday. No other information is being released at this time. A proposal that would transfer most management of the National Bison Range back to the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes is up for public comment. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has opened a 30-day public comment period on the partnership plan. It's been nearly four years since a federal judge in Washington, D.C. struck down a previous agreement and excluded tribal employees from the Bison Range. A tourist flew a drone into a Yellowstone National Park hot springs despite the park's ban on drones. The aircraft crashed into the picturesque Grand Prismatic Spring last weekend. Other tourists witnessed the crash. Now the drone is submerged in the spring's 160-degree waters, and officials hope to remove it. Grand Prismatic is known for its wide, uh, vivid colors and measures 300 feet across. Missoula is still buzzing Wednesday over Paul McCartney's sold-out, record-breaking show Tuesday night in Washington Grizzly Stadium. Concertgoers weathered a line snaking around the University of Montana campus and sweltering tailgate, but were rewarded with the largest concert in the state's history. McCartney delivered a three-hour performance that kept the 25,000-plus on their feet for all three hours. Don't miss our stories and photo gallery on Missoulian.com, and come down to the Missoulian to pick up extra copies of today's historic print edition. Have a great evening, Western Montana, and check back with us on Missoulian.com for updates and breaking news and pick up a copy of Thursday morning's print edition of the Missoulian for the most complete local news coverage in Western Montana. I'm A.J. Mazzolini, and that's the 406 for Wednesday, August 6th.